Our partners at PolitiFact reached a new milestone this week you'll probably find interesting. They, they wrote their 1,000th fact check on former President Donald Trump. This came after Trump said Democrats used the COVID-19 pandemic to cheat in the 2020 presidential election. It's a claim that PolitiFact has debunked multiple times. PolitiFact editor-in-chief Katie Sanders joining us now to talk about the group's reporting on Trump and other politicians. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me to talk about this. All right, so uh, Katie, our viewers may wonder, how did Trump reach this mark before other people? Well, he's been in politics a long time. People will know that he entered the political fray as a candidate back in 2015, where he gave many long speeches and he made a lot of claims in each of them, as well as his favorite platform at the time, Twitter. So we really kicked up our fact-checking of him at that point. And then he was a presidential candidate, then a president, and then a presidential candidate again. So he's been in the fray for nine years in some way or another. But we started fact-checking him all the way back in 2011 uh, when he was among people fanning the birther conspiracy theory about where former President Barack Obama was born. So we were um, we, we wanted to take note and tell the big story of what it's been like to fact check him all these years. As we know and our viewers know, PolitiFact fact checks everyone across the political spectrum. But as we focus on, on Donald Trump here for a moment, your team did use this kind of milestone as an opportunity to sort of take a step back and to analyze these fact checks of Trump specifically. And I'm wondering what trends did you notice? What topics does he bring up the most? Well, I think immigration has been one of his favorite topics since that 2015 entry into the presidential race. You know, he's made a lot of claims relating to border security, border wall, the immigration system. And we've checked them, checked, fact checked those again and again. But in more recent years, he's really used his platform to talk about election security. And he's fanned a lot of election deniers and denialism in this country by denying the results of the 2020 election. And we saw how that fed into the events of January 6th, 2021, and the attack on the Capitol. And we've really seen him use election related claims as a way to pretty much hold a grudge against some of his political opponents and uh, degrade the results of elections that he disagrees with. Uh, one more question before we let you go, Katie. Your big story here on Trump talks about the PolitiFact process and how you reach out to everyone who is being fact-checked. And I'm wondering, you know, does that include the former president and how those conversations usually go with his team when you reach out? Yes, we reach out to anyone we're fact checking at least one time. And our reporters actually make it a point to reach out to former President Trump's team multiple times before we fact check. And sometimes they will send us a link to a story or a report that they think backs up their claim. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it's missing other context or missing other things in the same document that undermine the very point they're trying to make. Um, but that's not unusual. When we fact check Democrats, for instance, the White House, um, we fact check a lot of Democrats. Uh, this can be similar experience. Um, and I just wanted to point out, too, that Trump may it may be some time before we fact check another politician a thousand times. But our next three politicians are all Democrats, Obama, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden. And we think that that makes sense. Fascinating, always uh, very important stuff. And, and I know from viewers and voters, they find these fact checks to be pivotal to the knowledge they have going into the voting booth. So thank you so much. And we'll be looking for more checks on Trump and President Biden as the election gets closer. Of course, you can read PolitiFact's story about what they've learned after 1,000 fact checks of Donald Trump on our website, WRE.